Take this job and shut. This is Jobcast Radio. Check out my website, jobcastradio.com. Give me a call, 304-867-4142. And, of course, you can always shoot me an email, mike at jobcastradio.com, for any problem, question, or concern, or story you have in maintaining your work and your life and trying to survive through through either one. Um, interesting story. I, I tripped over again uh, in the Wall Street Journal. Uh, which is actually a bit of a surprise. Um, now, as you all know, and this, this segment primarily, ladies, you all know that, that the word is out there that if you get a job, um, odds are you're being paid, uh, some people say 10%, 15%, 20%, 20 25% less than uh, a guy, and that there is a, a pay gap for between uh, male and female employees. We talk about it all the time on this show, and it's and it, and it just happens. Um, we talk about the glass ceiling all the time, but there has been an interesting new study, uh, which is highlighted um, in the March to March ninth, twenty eleven, uh, WSJ Wall, Wall Street Journal blog, The Juggle, concerning a new study. Researchers have found that the wage differences, <laughs> differences between. Uh, have found that wage differences within a company decreases. That is, the gap between men and women's pay decreases when something really unrelated in the workplace is going on. When male CEOs have daughters, now, now follow me on this. If, if your CEO, if the boss of the company has daughters, that is, female children, those companies tend to have a shorter and smaller pay gap between men and women. Three economists studied the salaries of some 734,200 Danish workers at 6,230 firms. So big study between 1995 through 2006. The data set also included information on CEOs, including the sexes and the birth dates of their kids. Researchers found that when male CEOs had daughters, the wage gap closed by half a percentage point on average at their firms in the same calendar year. And if a CEO's firstborn happened to be a daughter, the wage gap closed by nearly 3%. The birth, of, however, of a son had no effect. So if a CEO, uh, if, if you find a company and you discover that the CEO's firstborn child is a female, is a daughter, if he has a daughter, the company is actually more likely to have set wages, according to the study, by 3% closer men to women. Now, I know for some of you, 3% is not that much, but it's really quite interesting. Now, further into the study, that this daughter effect was strongest at firms with 50, now follow me on this, 50 or fewer employees. Now, why would that be? Simply because that, that if you have a company that has 50 or fewer employees, the CEO is a lot more involved obviously, in the pay decisions and the salary decisions of the workforce. So, again, for, for those of you who are trying to get jobs at big companies like Apple's, Amazon, uh, eBay, you know, that kind of stuff, this is the, it, this absolutely moot point. Um, but it's an interesting study that on small companies where, where the CEO has a daughter, uh, the, the, the wage gap is, is smaller because they are more sympathetic or they better understand that the differences between men and women are not supposed to be translated into pay. And if their firstborn happens to be a daughter, it's even more aware. How is that also in effect? Well, you know, let's face it. I, dads, we love our daughters. And if we were to think that somebody was treating our daughter unfairly, we would be really angry about this. And it's just the nature of the beast. Look, this daughter thing goes deeper than just pay gaps. And I know this for an absolute fact, because as an HR person uh, or a recovering HR person, 
I can tell you, I, I had to teach many, many times classes on sexual harassment, workplace ethics, how do we behave, how do we deal with the sexes at work, and I guarantee you that the guys who had daughters got the message much better about how women should be treated than those who did not. One of the best weapons that I would have in a sexual harass, in trying to get a person to understand that their behavior could be perceived as, as sexual harassment was to explain to them that how would they feel if I did the behavior they are accused of to their daughter, which is usually followed by that individual getting very red-faced and very angry that I would suggest that somebody should say or do whatever this guy is accused of doing to his daughter, and he got very, very angry, and my point is made. Guys, we're protective about our daughters. Um, you know, it, it, but... You know, if we have a son, that doesn't register. Guys, actually, who had sons who were behaving inappropriate in the workplace, it was it was virtually impossible to get them to understand through the same analogy. Because quite frankly, us guys, you know, quite frankly, you want to sexually harass me, please do so. I'm fine with it. It's okay. I don't care. Um, women, it, it's not good. And that's why we have these laws. And if we were all men, we wouldn't have this problem. But again, you know, we're not. So... We get it. We understand it to the point where even CEOs, it, it's impacting on pay. And it's something we need to focus on. And it's something we, we are very well aware of. So interesting study. Again, you can find that in the Wall Street Journal. Um, <laughs> and for those of you CEOs or managers who happen to have daughters, it might be interesting. Take a look around. Take a look at, at your department. Uh, take a look up at the makeup. Did you know that that managers who have daughters are more also likely to hire um, women in their group uh, that and, and and are treated better to some degree. Uh, now, let's let's face it. There are also managers out there who like to do nothing but hire women into their teams, not because they actually are looking for a diverse workforce. They just like having a lot of women working for them. It's a power thing, and that's usually where HR gets involved, and therein lies the problems. So think about that. If you're looking for a job, you happen to be a woman, you are concerned about pay gap, uh, it, th these are the kinds of cultural things you want to be aware of. These are the kinds of things that you that are kind of handy to know. Companies with female CEOs um, tend to also have less of a gender gap in pay. Why? Because the person in charge happens to be a woman. Now, we could argue whether or not female CEOs are making the same as their male counterparts, that becomes a different discussion altogether. So the ceiling is there. And women, those of you who have jobs, if you feel that you are being paid less because you are a woman, there are ways to, number one, identify if that is true, and number two, fix that kind of problem. Now, Sometimes it's the equivalent of pulling the, the pin on a grenade and throwing it over the wall, and you will not be the most popular person in the company, but it can be done. If you are working in a job where you have several people in the same job category as you, and you have at least, you know, within a year or two's level of the same kind of experience, or you've been with the company long enough, um, and you're being paid less, it might be prudent to ask them to define why. Now, understand, the moment you walk up to your manager and say, hi, why are the men in this department paid more than me? All kinds of red flags start waving, even if you're just asking for an honest and candid answer, which hopefully the company will give to you, and they will explain to you that, you know, your experience is not the same. They have a college degree. Uh, does the college degree, you know, always ask yourself, does the college degree matter in this particular job? You know, what is it that makes people, uh, that has people being paid more than you? Now, also understand this does not just go to women. This also goes to guys, older, younger. You know, if you feel that you're being paid less than somebody who's sitting next to you doing the same job, you may want to say, why? Now, it may be they've been there 10 years and you've been there three. Completely, totally valid. But if you both got hired on the same day and that person's making more money than you, you may want to ask why. Some of it may just simply be they negotiated a better salary than you. Tough luck. Um, but again, you may want to be able to, to investigate and research that. So women, 
If you go and you ask that question, why do the men here make more money than me? Your company is immediately, again, going to freak out a bit, which is not necessarily a bad thing. HR will immediately get an email saying that you're about to file a sexual harassment suit. Calm them down. Let them know you're just looking for an answer. Um, and have them do the research. Many times I have seen that people will go, oh, yeah, absolutely, you're right. You need to be uh, at the same level that the guys are. Let's get you, let's get you a raise. Um, or the company may freak out, think that you're a whistleblower or potential litigation, and fire you on a trumped-up charge, and then all of a sudden you discover that your performance appraisals go from exceeds expectations to needs improvement, which is a retaliation issue, which is a different subject for a different show. So, ladies, if you have that problem, if you're being paid too little, give me a shout, 304-867-4142, or shoot me an email, mike at jobcashradio.com. Let's talk it through. And let's see if we can uh, get that fixed, because it happens out there. And sometimes it just happens because nobody's paying attention. And let's face it, when people are not paying attention, the favorites always get, you know, the little extra bump. And that is not right in the workplace. So if you got questions about that, again, give me a call, 304-867-4142, anytime, 24-7, day or night. I'll be glad to chat with you on the problem. Don't even have to be on the radio show, although sometimes it's kind of fun, too. That concludes our episode. I am Mike Baumgartner, your work-life survival sage, chief executive officer of the Work-Life Survival Center, your host, Jobcast Radio. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Take this job and shut. Bye.